What's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm George. I'm Vanessa. And that's our baby, Zandrea. So I actually want to start off by saying that me and George are glad to finally be back and recording videos for you guys. Finally. I know. We took such a long break, which was like three months. <laughs> you know, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> So as I was saying, we actually took a long break, like about three months, which unfortunately we didn't want to have to do that. Things happen and now we're back. We have a lot of videos planned for you guys, so stay tuned for those. Today, our video that me and George are going to be doing with baby Andrea is the old wife tales gender prediction. So basically what that is, I went on the internet and I got 10 questions that help you predict the gender of your baby. Do you want to show them? Yeah. So here we have the board, and there's 10 questions. I'll get up close so you can see them. They're right there. Yeah, so basically it just asks simple questions like cravings, morning sickness, and as you guys can see, it goes on. And then we circle which one I'm feeling, uh, whether I'm craving sweet or salty. We're gonna tally up the points to see which one gets more girl or boy, right. which then is gonna help us determine whether the baby in my belly is a boy or a girl. Me and George actually thought it was a really good idea to do this video before we find out the gender of our baby because we already have the envelope of the gender. It's crazy. We just don't know what it is yet. Don't know. And we're gonna be finding out very, very soon, which I can't wait because I've been, been dying to I know, <laughs> I've been wanting to find out because I wanna know whether it's Andrea's gonna have a little brother, have a little sister, and like, I just already been wanting to buy baby clothes and get some little things, <laughs> but I can't because I don't know where it's the girl or if it's a boy. Yeah. But anyways, let's get this thing started. All right. So I'm actually gonna be circling pink for girl and blue for boy. All right, so the first one is craving. Cravings. What are you craving? Well, for sure not salty. For me, if you guys not don't salty, know. Not salty, but you've been acting salty. Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys know me, I'm always craving sweet things. So I feel like whether I'm pregnant or I'm not pregnant, regardless, I always want something sweet. Which is like cookies, I always want cake, I always want some type of dessert. So I feel like that doesn't really affect, affect me. No? Right? So sweet? Yeah. Okay. Which is... Number two, morning, morning sickness. sickness. Oh my god. That's Nothing? A yes. That's a no? <laughs> no, what the heck? I was throwing up every day. Horrible, horrible. The worst morning sickness I've ever had. It Just was weird horrible. because with Andrea, she was perfectly fine. I know, with Andrea, I had no morning sickness whatsoever. Just heartburn. I was perfectly fine. Yeah, I just had heartburn, but that's like. That was like way later on in my pregnancy. Yeah, I she was hairy. <laughs> that was like way like far when I was like eight months. Like, you know, when I was already gonna be two. Yeah. But I did have horrible morning sickness, so well, that's that a yes. yes. Another for girl. Two for two. Okay, let's see. All right, the next mom's one. Mom's mood. Yes, mom's mood. Have I been moody and mellow? Oh, I don't know. I feel like you've been pretty mellow. No, I feel like I've been really moody. Like, really? Yeah, I feel like I get mad at George like a lot. <laughs> I like we were arguing for like a whole week, <laughs> a whole week straight. I kept getting mad at him, and we'd get mad at like the most little things ever. And like I feel like just because I've been really moody, and like I get mad at George for like the simplest things. And, like, like you get mad at me, don't tell me, cause I don't know. Yes, but <laughs> I I feel like I've been pretty moody. All right, we're not be lying. You should want a girl. No, I'm being. It's like, what is it gonna be all girls? Okay, so the next question is carrying the baby. High or High low? or low? Show them. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. I can't really tell. Cause you can't, I'm not that yeah. big So currently right now, she's not wearing pregnancy pants. She was still able to bite her pants. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe, yeah. you know, she, her weight is still the same, so she's maybe carrying high. But no. then you think you're carrying low. No, I don't know what I'm carrying. Like, what do you uh, think? Honestly, ah. let me see. Like, from right here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Like that. It seems like it's in the middle. I, I, I want to know what it's saying. What is put low? Put low? Because I don't really feel like I carry that high. Yeah. So what is put low? And guys, one thing about her is that she does not get big. We've seen other girls who are even smaller than she is and get humongous. I know. I don't know why that is. Like huge. Chinese calendar. So before I circle girl or boy, I do want to say, I did go on my phone and I did the Chinese calendar before the video, so I already know what it is. 
But also, when I did the Chinese calendar with Andrea, I was pregnant with her. It said I was having a girl, and it was accurate. And you guys can see, she's a little pink girl. A cute one too. A cute little pink. A little cute baby. And but, crazy too. I know, but it was very accurate for me. So we'll see if this time the Chinese calendar pulls through or it's lying to me. But for the Chinese calendar, it actually said I was having a boy. Are you serious? Yeah. You. Yo, you did not tell me that. That's I did, crazy. I told you multiple times and you got mad. You're like, why'd you do it already without me? Well, yeah, because you did it without me. That's not fair. But, um, headache. So, yes or no? And for sure, my headaches are a yes. I would tell you yes, just because I think I got you mad today and you're like, oh, you're giving me a headache. Well, I looked at you, you're just like, well, he didn't get me mad, but it's because I was asking him to do something and he was taking forever and it just started giving me a headache. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I'll put yes. Because I've been having really bad headaches. Like every time I go to the store, I'm in the car. I remember I would have to go down to Target. <laughs> when I'd go to Target, like I'd be pushing the shopping cart, and like just going down the aisles, my head, my head would hurt a lot. Like I would have to close my eyes and just walk down the aisles. But I have been having very bad headaches, so that's a yes. And Daddy's weight gain. Are you gaining or maintaining your weight, George? You guys know I've been maintaining. Maintaining. No, you guys. I think he's the gay. Guys, to be honest, like I hate to say it, I hate to hear it, but you know I cannot deny it. And I talked about going to the gym, and I haven't even done it yet. But I think I've gained about 20 pounds, you guys. But so it's not just like 20 pounds during my pregnancy. It's been like 20 pounds, like since maybe like the last, like, since like the last. Yeah, pregnancy. like with 20 pounds throughout like the past two years. So like 10 and 10. Yeah, so he has been gaining weight, which obviously we're gonna work on George being that gym because uh, I, can't have, that gym I can't have no chunks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, where's oh, no, it's a girl. You can lay on my thigh, it'll be like that, that memory foam. <laughs> so now, so the next question is ring test, but I'm actually gonna save that one for last just because Andrea's in my arms and I don't wanna have to put her down and then pick her back up. Yeah. So we're just gonna continue and go on with the rest of the questions. So the, the next calendar. one is the Mayan calendar and for that one, it actually said I was having a girl which I thought was weird because I guess the Chinese calendar goes based off like the month of conception and the age that I was when I conceived, yeah, I conceived the baby. And then the Mayan calendar, I honestly forgot what it goes based off. Is that the same? But it goes, no, it goes based off like the numbers. It was like something like odd. If it's odd, odd, it's like a girl or something like that. I don't know for sure, so don't like quote me or anything. But, or don't judge her either. Um, I honestly just don't remember right now at the top of my head. I would have to look it up. But the Mayan calendar does not go based off the same thing the Chinese calendar goes off. So this one actually said I was having a girl. I'm and with a, Andrea, a lot of right now. with Andrea, I didn't do the Mayan calendar, so I can't tell you guys whether it was accurate or not because I only did the Chinese calendar. But on to question number ten would be hair growth. Has my hair been growing slower or faster? For me, I feel like my hair has been growing faster because every time I shave, I feel like I, I feel like the next time I shower, I have to like shave again. Not even that. It's like she'll shave and like in the morning and at night she'll shave again. Oh. <laughs> But I feel like it's been faster. <laughs> so, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six for girls. Right, and for boys, six. we have three. One, two, three, four, five, And boy only three. And then right now we're actually going to do the ring test. And we're going to see whether it says girl or boy. So for those of you who don't know what the ring test is, it's basically a ring on a necklace. You put it above your belly and if it goes in circles, it means it's a girl. And if it goes back and forth, it means you're having a boy. And we're actually gonna try it out right now and see what mine says, if it's a girl or a boy. And then that will give us our last tally to see whether it's a girl or a boy. Which I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna be another girl. But the Chinese calendar says boy, so that's what's I know. crazy. That's so the crazy. thing about the Chinese calendar, like I said, with Andrea, it was very accurate. And like, I'm just really excited to find out the gender of our new baby because if it really is a boy, I'm gonna be completely shocked because for me, I personally feel like I can't have boys. Like, I don't know. 
I can't conceive boys. Like I feel like I can only have girls because most of my family actually just consists of girls. And I only have one sister who all her pregnancies have been boys and she's actually pregnant right now and she's gonna be due in October. For her third, her third son, child, yeah. Third boy. And another boy. And she's the only one out of my other siblings who have had boys. Like my other sister, she has two girls. My brother has two girls and then he has one boy. Which I mean, but the it's thing, only one boy. But the thing is, is that he's a father and not the mother. So it's like, I think it goes more based on like who's carrying the baby. And obviously he's the guy, so he's not carrying a baby. Like, I don't know honestly, but like my brother has only one boy. And like only my sister Lupe has been able to have boys, which is just really crazy. And like, I feel like I might not be able to have boys either. Like I might just have another girl, but who knows. But anyways guys, it's time to do the ring test. And Find out. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna be doing the ring test by myself because George actually took the baby to the other room because she was crying a lot. But I'm gonna be doing it right here on this table, and I'm gonna try to lean back so you guys can kind of see. I'm not gonna be fully laying down since I am doing it by myself. So let's see what this little ring test says. If I'm having a boy or a girl, either way, this whole gender prediction old wife tells is just for fun. Whatever it ends up saying, if it's a girl or a boy, obviously I'm not gonna believe it until I actually find out the actual gender from the doctor. But like I said, it's just for fun. Okay, let me do this now. I'm gonna try to sit right here. All right, let me lean back a little bit. So as you guys can see right now, it looks like it's just going back and Forth. It's actually going back and forth, which back and forth means a boy. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if it does it again or if it goes in circles. So as you guys can see, again, it's going back and forth. Oh my God, guys. So that means that for the ring test, it says I'm having a boy. Let's circle that right here. Boy, so we have, as you can see, six girls and four boys. So based off this whole old wife, tells gender prediction if I'm having a girl, another baby girl. All right guys, so I didn't plan on saying this at all, but I've talked about it with Vanessa like so many times. And she's been telling me that this is gonna be our last kid, most likely, could be a third, but who knows, that's gonna be like, we're not even planning on that right now. <laughs> like two is already- A lot. Yeah, it's already a lot. But if I have a son, like how I could be the potential last kid, it would be like the best thing. But if I have a daughter, it would also be like a really nice thing. Like I, I don't mind which gender because of the be boy or girl. I'm gonna be completely happy, love them both 100%. But like, I really want a daughter just because we have a really beautiful name that I like. And if I have a son, well, of course, like it's a boy. Like I like the little baby boy clothes. Like I know, he's skate. always looking at boy clothes <laughs> all the time. So if we have a boy, I know he's gonna be really excited about being able to dress him. Yeah. Every single time we go to Target or wherever, whatever store we go to, George always goes for the boy clothes and he pick, he makes his own little outfit and he's like, oh, this would be hella sick. Yeah. Like obviously we don't have a boy and like with Andrea, I don't mind putting her boy clothes, but I like it to be like kind of like boy clothes where it's like gender neutral, yeah. not like where it looks like, oh, that's a straight up boy outfit. Yeah. You know? But anyways, I know George would be really happy with either gender, like he said. Yeah. But I feel like he kind of wants a girl because of the name. Yeah, like but then, I, I really like the name. And honestly, if we end up having a son, we might not reveal the name just because I don't want anyone else to take it. <laughs> We never know, we could have a girl in the future. Yeah, but I hope you guys really enjoy our video. I like finding out what these gender predictions had to say, whether I'm having a boy or a girl. And now I just can't wait till we actually find out the real gender of our baby and you guys get to find out with us also. And what's so funny also is that Zandrea is so smart that I don't even know how she knows, but 
to Vanessa, she'll walk up to her and she'll point at her stomach like this. She, she goes, says, baby. baby. Mama, baby. where's baby? Where's baby? Baby? Right here, baby. 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 She's always giving Vanessa's belly kisses, saying baby, baby, like if she already knows there's the a baby in there. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Baby? Baby. Dale mechito, baby. What? <laughs> she can't reach, oh but God. she always gives my stomach kisses, like when I'll be sitting on the couch. I'll be saying baby, baby, and then she like hella pokes my stomach and she'll go like that. She says baby, and then I'll be like besito, and she gives my stomach a little besito. Like nonstop. I know, which is really cute, and and for sure, like we're also excited to have another child, hey, just because you know Zandria's gonna have to ah. play with. Every time we go somewhere, she like sees other little kids, she laughs, she runs with them, so she'll really enjoy the company for sure. Yeah, for sure. I already know Zandria and the next sibling, whether it's a girl or a boy, they're gonna drive me and George crazy. I know. And <laughs> Gotta just prepare ourselves to go on this crazy, crazy adventure. Adventure being young parents with wild child because this, I know. She this little really child is, right here. She gets out of hand. <laughs> this little child right here. Anytime anyone sees her, they're always like, "Wow, she's so calm. Like I can't believe it. Like I've never seen such a calm baby. Like da 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 da." I mean, but she really, really is calm and she is good. Too. She has her moments, like. Sometimes she could be really calm and like good and I'm just like dang like even I'm shocked I'm like can she be like this all the time? I know but I think she gets crazy just because she just loves to play She likes to yeah. do front flips like she'll, she'll like tumble and like, oh she'll, like she'll go on a headstand and her legs will just go I know. over her head and just I hate when she back. does that like when I try changing her diaper now she's extremely hard to change her diaper. She runs over the bed. She runs naked. She's running on the bed back and forth. <laughs> and then she throws herself on the bed and like she hits her head on our bed frame. And like I get scared because she could fall off the bed and our bed is pretty tall. And not only that, like George said, she likes doing front flips and like I hate it because she could freaking like, you don't know what could happen. She could break her neck and like, I don't, obviously don't want to. Yeah, I mean, we're her. always careful with that. Yeah, like I obviously don't want nothing to happen to her. So I get really scared. But anyways guys, we're gonna close out our video here. I hope you guys really did like our video. I liked filming this video for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for our next video, finding out the gender of our baby. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up for Sandra being a big sister really, really soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace. Bye. Give them a kiss. Besito. Besitos. Dale besito. Dale besito. Oh, mm. <laughs> Peace.